Hey guys, so um, I guess I'm gonna vlog while we're in here. Um, but right now we just got put into our room. I'm sorry if I'm talking really loud. I don't want to wake him up. Um, I'll show you guys this room. This is his crib in here. It's really tall. Then we have a little chair where I was sitting to put him to sleep because he didn't want to be in there alone. So I had to sit right here and then I put the thing up after he fell asleep. I brought him a blanket from home so he can smell it because he was so sad. Julio. Fridge. Sink. And bathroom. His oxygen is, is at 91. He's supposed to be above 95. It just went down to 90. And he's on oxygen right now. He's got um, the nose thing on. And I took off his clothes. He also had a fever. And I put on... He has a long sleeve on. But I guess it went down a little bit. But he's in there. I feel so bad. Um... Hopefully we can get some rest. Julio's probably not gonna sleep. He stays up a lot. But I'm really tired. I'm really worried about Isabella. I know she's in good hands. My mom took her, but I just, I miss her. And I know my boobs are gonna kill me tonight. I'm probably not gonna sleep. I'm just hoping I don't leak through this damn shirt because I didn't bring any clothes. I didn't think we were gonna stay. Good thing I brought the laptop and the camera. I'm literally in a freaking jeans at nike's like she, she should have told me I'm gonna buy i didn't think we were gonna stay i thought they were gonna let us go after they did the really breathing thought, treatment really i did and like i'm so uncomfortable right now i'm in jeans like i'm in tight freaking jeans it sucks because you didn't been sick so we've been really busy with that and we couldn't really upload videos we have footage but upload them so we're gonna try to daily vlog when all this is over we're, we're gonna try our best to daily vlog right babe Tell mm -hmm. like when the, when we can so yeah so the camera's about to die so we're gonna go right now we'll keep you guys updated so bye he's just not feeling good at all right now Julio's with him right now Julio's back there with him he doesn't want to lay down. He's been laying down for so long. He's just like laying against Julio with his blankie. There he is. His foot looks huge. <laughs> It feels so bad for him. For what? Hey baby, it's lunch already. I already ordered it. I ordered him mac and cheese. They said we're definitely here till tomorrow. So, another night here. Sucks. My back hurts so bad from sleeping on that freaking chair. And, um... I had, like, no clothes. So I slept in what I'm wearing right now. And I still have it on. And I'm just exhausted. And it's like 11, no, it's 12 already, huh? What time is it? Oh, it's 12.14. Julio got up at 7.20 and he had like barely fallen asleep at 5, I think. You fell asleep like at 5, huh? Yeah. Well, kind of. Like, you know, because then it takes you a while to fall asleep anyways. The, the machine kept beeping, huh? Yeah. I was, I knocked out. I was so tired. You are starting to wake up a little bit. Look at yourself. Oh, cute. Smiling a little bit. Oh my goodness. They have that around his arm, by the way, because that's where the IV is, so he won't pull it out. Yeah, huh, baby. Say hi. Oh, so sweet, my baby boy. Say hi. 
¿Tienes hambre? He has, he's hooked up to quite a few things. Um, yeah, okay. It's his, his vitals, I guess. This is supposed to be above 95, and um, I don't know if this is good or not. Julio knows this one. But this is supposed to be above 95, and he's on oxygen right now, by the way. Um, he has not, well, I'm sorry. He's on oxygen, and he's also um, getting IV fluids. Here's the oxygen thing. I think it's on like a liter, the teeny tiny cuff. This is his water. I put in one of these because he does not really feel like drinking out of a straw or anything like that. And I forgot his cup at home. Obviously, I wasn't planning for staying this, this long. But, yeah. I changed, by the way. Um... Um, brought my clothes, but um, I'm gonna put it right here. But I am currently just sitting here, and his oxygen levels got really low. It's low again. Papi, are you okay? Are you okay? Oh yes. Before my mom has to leave for work, my mom leaves at seven, seven twenty, and so Julio's gonna go pick her up, and then he's gonna stay home with her. Um, I do kind of want to go home just to pick up some things because obviously I was not planning on a multiple overnight stays, and it's just a humongous mess. But they said he's definitely staying tonight, and he's gonna be here for quite a few days, is what they said. So I'm not excited for that, but thank God that it's Thursday today. So um, my mom will obviously the weekend she doesn't work, she'll be able to help me out and be here. And you know, I felt really bad when because we first we went to urgent care and then urgent care sent us here and they were like, he's not getting enough oxygen. And right away when they told me that, I, I like freaked out. I went outside because like we had to leave. I went outside and I called Julio and I was like crying so bad because. Um, he was really sick the day before and my mom kept telling me take him to urgent care take him to urgent care like he's really sick and i was arguing with her and i told her no because um the day before that on monday he had seen his pediatrician his pediatrician said it's just a cold um like he's fine it's just a cold there's nothing wrong with him other than the cold and you know so i was just like no like he just saw his pediatrician yesterday he's fine um like I, I just kept telling her like he's fine he doesn't need to go to urgent care and i was like it's so unnecessary um to take him and to because he cries a lot he hates doctors i was like it's so unnecessary to take him make him cry so much just for that like for just for them to tell us it's a cold so i was like no i'm not taking him and then the next day i gave it and i was like we need to take him and that's when he told me his oxygen was so low so i called Julio and i was just crying and i was like oh my god i should have taken him i felt so so bad but luckily we're here and nothing bad has happened so that makes me feel a little bit better but they do say that he might have bronchitis or bronchitis um they're not really quite sure no one's really explained it to us um one doctor said like we're still waiting on the results and another doctor said he has bronchitis and then like it's just all over the place julio has eaten on the chair this is the first time ian's actually been awake today and it is what time is it this is the first time he's actually been up and kind of awake-ish and it's 3 24 p.m so that is saying something and he is like really tight oh he likes it <laughs> you like it daddy say hi They have like the hugest hospital gown in the world on him. They did give us his diagnosis or diagno diagnosis. They diagnosed him already and they said that he has RSV and bronchitis or bron bronchitis. Um, he has, well, the RSV affects that, but that's what he has. Um, he's really, really sick. And. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how long we're gonna be here, but 
tomorrow's gonna be a tough day because you're gonna be home with Isabella all day. Dang, boo, we got to give her her bottle, heat her bottle up. A lot of stuff. Good luck. So entertained by the TV. I'm gonna go before they copyright me for this damn TV music. Hopefully, we can get you to crack a laugh. Crack a laugh, crack a smile. Um, because he's just not having it. He won't eat anything at all. He does not eat anything at all today. I'm only surviving right now awake because of the coffee I had this morning. The caramel macchiato. The caramel. You had coffee too. He's like, liar. You like freaking inhaled it.